A Thousand Lifetimes A Salvia Trip Report Posted by A. Main to the Salvia subreddit three years ago I come home from working a 12 hour day A killer Sunday brunch shift where I managed in good spirits as usual My new roommate, who reintroduced me to LSD Says that she got some salvia in the mail And maybe we should all try it I was going to be off the next day so I tried to be the big boy and vouched to go first. I sit down on the couch facing the TV, which is of just a big black rectangle in my field of vision and the white wall surrounding it. We debate between ourselves whether to use a pipe or bong. I said that I would use the bong instead. The bag said 10x, but I have to imagine that someone either messed up the bagging or I just did way too much. I loaded up what I would say was a full bowl, although I had no idea about any of this stuff. She didn't even tell me that the three gram bag she'd got had cost over a hundred bucks. To me, it looked like shit, and I was already underestimating what would actually happen. I take this huge rip with a small torch, and the whole bowl disappears almost instantly. I have a glass screen, so I know I didn't lose any of it. I held it all in for probably 25 seconds, and then I fell straight to my left, right off of the couch and onto the floor. Bear in mind, I'm 6 foot 6 and 260 pounds. All that follows is happening while I'm apparently rolling around on the living room floor for less than 3 minutes. The experience for me starts with the last thing I saw, the television. I call it the frame black and void. I slip down into the couch and feel my face become 10,000 replicas like a flip book, but you're just letting the pages fly away as you fall. Then, I have no face at all. I have no body, no eyes or hands to touch anything with. I am now fully aware that I am consciousness. I know this because I heard or maybe even saw the word in front of me. In this state, I am about the size of a bean, perfectly oval shaped, and I feel smooth but not hard, almost like a gel cap with liquid inside. I am now on the machine. I'm being held by something that looks like a long slender metal rod with a scoop that cradles my bean of consciousness. I feel myself no longer falling or sliding, but now I can tell that I am moving forward like a big ferris wheel, but not a fun one. I can't stop it or slow it down, and it starts moving faster and faster. I'm now seeing the black frame of the TV once again, a black rectangle, and now here is where crazy shit really starts to go down. Imagine your head is placed back against a wall. In a millisecond, you are propelled from one side to the other. And when you hit the other side, your face is smashing through glass. The black void rectangle. It wasn't painful per se, but you could feel it. And each time I hit this glass, I entered a different life. When I tell you that I lived a thousand lives, I'm not joking. I now feel like I'm older than time itself. The ones I can remember very clearly was going from childhood to being a full 45 year old man and dying of cancer in a hospital. I must say that in my actual reality, I am nowhere near 45 at all. I legitimately remember watching my kids grow up, having a wife, crying and laughing and loving people and feeling every single bit of it. My name in this reality was David. My actual name is not David. I was also a prehistoric man. I hunted small animals, I ate vegetables, 
I had people around, but we didn't talk. I remember trees and grass and rocks, as well as a mountain. In another, I was a large black woman in one life. I don't remember much, but she was pretty and had a very loud voice. I remember my bedroom, and it had yellow wallpaper with diamonds printed on it. I had an old white car with cream coloured seats. Thousands of these happened, and between each of them, I smashed through the glass black void every time, feeling my face hit hard glass and hearing the break and shatter noises like a movie sound effect. Each one of these felt like a lifetime, but at the same time, they were instantaneously beginning and then over faster than you could blink. At some point, I heard a voice. I heard laughter. I remembered that I didn't want to live these lives. I just wanted to be back with my girlfriend and wanted to remember what my own life was. I somehow turned my consciousness being to the left and I felt a bad presence. It was making me see all of these lives. It was making me endure this machine. I just want it off. I'm now looking to the left and I can see the frames which encompass the alternate lives. They were flipping past me and I realised that I didn't actually have to live through them. I could just watch them pass by. I wanted to find my own frame. Then suddenly I have hands again, or at least fingers, and I can touch the frames and look at the image. It felt hard to do this, I must say. It felt desperate. I had no coordination. I was just touching as many as I could. I then hear another voice. I hear more laughter, although this time good laughter. Then I find my own frame. I grab it and put my face into it. Like, how else would you get into it? No glass smashing this time though. It feels like goo, like gel. It's clear and smooth, but I feel like I cannot breathe. I feel my arms and my face returning to me. I can swim through the goo. I pull myself through what feels like a hundred yards. I feel like I'm a hundred feet long. I can see a light within this void. I can see a face. I can actually see my living room. I grab the edges of the image and pull myself towards it. And it feels like I squeeze my face through a big butthole. And then, pow, I hear this snap. I hear my friends say my name, my actual name. They sit me down on the couch, and I'm now back home. I take a few minutes to figure out if it's real or not, and then I started crying. It just felt like it wasn't real at all. I felt like I'd been gone far too long, and felt like I betrayed my girlfriend for living other lives for so very, very long. This all occurred around two years ago now. When it happened, I became depressed for about four months. I didn't feel like I belonged in this world anymore. I wasn't sure any of it was even real. I felt like work was trivial, after I'd already lived and died a thousand times. And they were all so quick. Why did I even have to do this life thing anymore? I never really told anybody until now how I felt on the inside. I, I couldn't tell my girlfriend that I felt like life was pointless or possibly even fabricated. That I believed I actually went into some other dimension and bent time itself. After two years, I wish I could go back to the same place without fear and confront it all once more. But I do not think that I could ever try it again. There's a feeling I get in the back of my neck that tells me not to, or I'll be smashed through glass for another eternity, by something that feels the need to punish me for taking every day's moment for granted. Please start small if you're going to do this. Don't be a fucking hero. I realised that I had some depression to deal with, and this in a way helped me to come to terms with it in a sense. 
I realised how much I love the frame I'm in now. I don't want to be a guy named David or a fucking caveman. I haven't had a good psych trip since that. I get the back of the neck feeling when I try other stuff or even get too high on herb. Maybe it's a good thing. I've chilled out a lot since then. The problem is though, is that I almost believe that when I die, I'll have to go back on the wheel forever. <laughs> Maybe we all will. Maybe that's the cycle. All I'll say is enjoy your precious moments, folks. This life is important and unique. I have a video of me rolling around on the ground. If enough people want to see it and made it to the bottom of this post, maybe I'll put it up. But it is pretty fucking stupid. I wish I could edit it to not show my face. TLDR. Fucking Salvia, man. This is all 100% true. And it will stay with me forever.